Hi guys, I hope you all are doing well and welcome to the sixth video of this entire series of Exchange Server 2019. In the last video, we talked about the system requirements and prerequisites for Exchange Server installation. In this particular video, we will be installing Exchange 2019. First, we will meet all the prerequisites one by one and then we will install Exchange 2019 on Windows Server 2019 data center machine. So first, we will check Active Directory requirements for Exchange 2019. That includes forest functional level. And as we discussed in the last video that one of the domain controllers in your Active Directory forest must have global catalog server as well. So let's go to Server Manager. If you want to check forest functional level, you will go to Active Directory Domains and Trust. Under Active Directory Domains and Trust, you will right click your domain and then go to Properties. And here you can see Domain Functional Level and Forest Functional Level. For Exchange 2019 installation, Forest Functional Level should be 2012 R2 or later. Now let's check if we have a global catalog server within our Active Directory Forest or not. To check global catalog server, you will go to Active Directory Sites and Services. Under Active Directory Sites and Services, you will expand Sites, expand default first site name, expand servers, and here you will see the list of all the domain controllers within your Active Directory Forest. In my forest, I have only one domain controller, so I will expand the domain controller. Then you will right click on NTDS settings, go to properties, and here we can see global catalog option is checked. That means this domain controller is a global catalog server as well. So we have met directory requirements for Exchange 2019. Apart from that, system requirements say that all of the domain controllers of your forest must be running on Windows Server 2012 R2, Windows Server 2016, or Windows Server 2019. So I have one domain controller and that is running on Windows Server 2019 data center. Now let's move to the machine on which we will install Exchange 2019. So this is the machine where we are going to install Exchange 2019. Let's go to Windows updates first. So this machine is up to date. Now let's check the system requirement. So this is Windows Server 2019 data center. Processor is Intel. The installed memory is 16 GB. And as of now, this machine is not joined to a domain. So full computer name says Exchange, which is the host name of this machine. So let's join this machine to a domain. And for that, we need to assign static IP address to this machine first. Let's go to ncpa.cpl. So let's assign these IPs 10.128.0.3255240. And default gateway is 10.128.0.1. Now the preferred DNS server will be the domain controller that has DNS role installed. And the IP address of domain controller is dot two. Click OK and click OK again. So the static IP address is assigned to this machine. Now let's join this machine to Active Directory domain. Let's go to properties. Click on change settings. Click on change domain. And here we will type. Active Directory domain. That is office365concepts.com. Click OK. Now this will ask you to enter enterprise administrator credentials of your domain.
So now this says welcome to office365concepts.com domain. So that means this machine is now joined to this Active Directory domain. Click OK. And now let's restart the machine. So this machine is restarted now. Let's check the system configuration. Let's go to properties. And now we can see the full computer name says exchange.office365concepts.com. So that means now this machine is joined to this domain. So now we can proceed with Exchange 2019 installation. The first task in the installation of any version of Exchange is to prepare the Active Directory environment where the Exchange server will be placed. If you want to check the prerequisites for Exchange server, you can go to TechNet article, Exchange Server Prerequisites, or you can look for Exchange Server 2019 Prerequisites. Scroll it down. So these are the prerequisites for Exchange 2019 Mailbox Server role. So as we discussed earlier that Exchange 2019 has two server roles, Mailbox Server and Edge Transport Server. On this particular machine, we will install Mailbox Server. So first we will install .NET Framework. Let's accept the license terms. Click install. So the .NET framework is installed. Next, we will install Visual C++ package for Visual Studio 2013. I have downloaded this already. Let's install this. So this is installed. The next prerequisite is if you want to integrate Sky for Business or Link Server with Exchange Server, then you need to download this Windows component on this server, that is Server Media Foundation. To run this command, we will go to PowerShell. And let's run this command. So this component is installed. Next, we will install Unified Communications Managed API. Let's install this. I have already downloaded it here. Click Next. I accept Install. So the installation is completed. Now, once you install all these tools, after that, you need to restart this server. So let's restart it. So this machine is ready now. Now let's install remote administration tools on this particular server. For that, we will go to PowerShell and here we will run install hyphen Windows feature space and then we will type rsat hyphen adds. Press enter. So these tools are installed. Next, we will install Windows components on this server. Those are required for Exchange Server. So let's go to prerequisites. To install Windows components, you will run this command. I have already copied it here. So let's copy this and go to PowerShell. And let's run this command. So these components are installed. Now we will prepare Active Directory schema so that Exchange attributes can be added within Active Directory. Let's go to Domain Controller. Let me show you the reason why we prepare Active Directory and why we expand Active Directory schema for Exchange Server. If you go to any user account, for example this, and let's go to Attribute Editor, as of now, we do not have Exchange installed within this organization. 
So we are not able to see any attributes those start with M S E X C H. I can see only three attributes here. Once we will have Exchange Server installed, and once Active Directory Schema is expanded, after that all of the MS Exchange attributes will be added within Active Directory. So that is the reason we prepare Active Directory for Exchange Server and we expand Active Directory Schema. To prepare Active Directory Schema, you would require Exchange Server ISO image. If you do not have ISO image for Exchange Server, you can download this from TechNet article. That article is Exchange Server Build and Versions. You can type this in Google. And this is the article. From this article, you can check all of the versions of Exchange Server from Exchange Server 4.0. The latest version is Exchange Server 2019, and these are the updates. Those are rolled out. If you want to download CU10, you can click on this, and you can download it from here. You can check the size as well. That is 5.8 GB. If you want to download the latest update, you can download CU11, this one. I will share the link in the comment section as well. You can copy it from there. So I have downloaded this already. I have downloaded CU9 so that I can show you how to update Exchange Server in one of the next videos. So now what you need to do, right click on the image and then click Mount. So this image is mounted on D drive. Now let's go to command prompt. And let's go to D drive. To prepare Active Directory Schema, we will run setup.exe slash prepare schema slash I accept Exchange Server License Terms. Press Enter. Now this command will copy the required files and it will check the prerequisites as well. If any prerequisite will fail, it will throw you an error. So we can see all the prerequisites are completed and Active Directory Schema is extended as well. The next command that we will run is setup.exe prepare ad organization name under organization name you can type your organization name for example like this then you will type i accept exchange server license terms press enter The next command that we will type is setup.exe prepare all domains I accept exchange server license terms. Press enter. So the Active Directory schema is extended now. So we have prepared Active Directory Schema. Now let's minimize command prompt. Now we will go to ISO image and we will double click on setup. This will open Exchange 2019 setup wizard. If you want to check the updates, you can click on next. No updates found, click next. On the introduction screen, you can click next. Accept the license agreement. Now here you can select use recommended settings. Go next and here it will ask you what role you want to install. You want to install mailbox role. Now here you can see if I check mailbox role, edge transport role will be grayed out. We cannot install mailbox and edge transport role on the same server. So on this server, we are going to install mailbox role. So we'll select mailbox. We have already installed all the Windows Server components. In case you didn't run PowerShell command, this command. In that case, you can check this option. 
and all of the windows components those are required will be installed from this wizard so let's uncheck this because we have already installed it click next you can browse to the location where you want to install the installation files click next here if you want to disable malware scanning you can disable it you can click on yes and malware scanning will be disabled within exchange if you do not want to disable it you can select no and then click next now this will check the prerequisites if any prerequisite will fail it will throw you an error so all the prerequisites are met click install so this installation process will take time because it includes 13 steps so it can take around 30 minutes and once this installation process is completed you can simply click on finish and restart your exchange server so the exchange 2019 setup is completed let's click finish now let's go to domain controller now let's check the attributes for the same user let's go to attribute editor and let's look for ms exchange attributes so now you can see all these attributes are added within Active Directory. So this is the reason we expand Active Directory schema so that Exchange attributes can be integrated within Active Directory. In the next video, we will discuss how to configure Exchange Server post installation and how to create DNS records in local DNS so that internal users can use Exchange services. So that is all for now. I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you guys. Thank you for your time. Take care.